All right, with me is Dan Riskin. He is CTV science and tech expert. He's been watching along with the rest of us. I don't know about you, Dan. I found that really emotional and so exciting to cover something fun and hopeful. And you look at the hard work that Jeremy Hansen and all these astronauts have put in to get to this moment. Your take on Jeremy Hansen being part of this mission. I have got goosebumps like it's my job. I'm going, I'm out of control. I feel very emotional as well. This is good news. This is wonderful. And we knew it was going to be one Canadian of the four. Uh, and we we didn't know which Canadian it would be. But Jeremy Hansen was sort of the leading contender. He's been uh, an astronaut for 14 years almost. And uh, and he still hasn't been to space. And so he'll be the only rookie in that, uh, in that spacecraft. He's not a rookie in terms of experience, but it'll be his first mission to space. The other three people who will be going with him, all Americans, will have been to space before, but none of them have been outside Earth orbit, and nobody has in over 50 years, and no one's been anywhere near the moon since 1972. This is the farthest that any humans will travel uh, in history. This is farther away from the Earth than any human has ever gone, so this is a very big deal, and Jeremy Hansen absolutely deserves to be part of that mission. And he's making Canada very proud. And in just the few words that he shared, uh, I think he got a lot of Canadians a little choked up. And, and we're all very proud and uh, very excited to see what comes of this mission. 47 years old, former Royal Canadian Air Force captain, born in London, Ontario. And I don't know about you, Dan, but the next time I feel impatient about something, I'm going <laughs> to remind myself of Jeremy Hansen waiting 14 years for this. Absolutely. I mean, he hasn't been to space, but he has led missions underground. I mean, he's, there, he's been on, he spent a week underground on a, a sort of a simulation of what it's like to be on an alien planet. Uh, he's done the work and he's been in Houston for a long time. He's been the voice of Houston to the International Space Station. He's trained other astronauts. Uh, and he has said on record, even if I never go to space, it'll all have been worth it. But you have to think that if you're an astronaut, you kind of want to go to space. And, you know, he said a couple things when uh, they passed the mic to him on the stage there. And, and the first one was just a very Canadian thing to say, which is to really uh, to, to say something graceful to your host country. I mean, yeah. to the United States and saying it, it shows great leadership that you've invited other countries to participate. And this shows part of what makes America so great. Uh, and those are very kind, heartfelt words. And I think they really speak to the, how special this is from an international perspective. But he also spoke about how special it is to be a Canadian going up. And, uh, and I think we've all just got goosebumps. He's going to be a great ambassador to our country. And he's going to be a great ambassador to Earth uh, as he goes up to space. Okay, so Dan, uh, before we run out of time at the top of the hour, I'm just going to get you to, again, recap and explain for our viewers what this mission is all about because I think some people are a little bit confused. It is a lunar mission, but they're not landing on the surface of the moon, at least not yet. That's right. So Artemis 1 was a, a spaceship without anybody on it, and it went up to the moon, it went around, and it came back to make sure the engineering all worked. It worked. This is Artemis 2. It's going to be basically the same trip. It's going to be about a 21-day trip, uh, launching, going around the Earth a few times, going out to the moon, going around the moon a few times, and then coming back. And that's to make sure that Artemis uh, really does work as well and flies and handles just as beautifully as everyone predicts it will. And then Artemis 3 will be the mission where people get out of the spaceship and walk around on the surface of the moon. So, you know, we've got to put it one step at a time. This is a necessary step towards getting back to the surface of the moon. And this time it's not about getting to the moon as the as the end all and be all of the mission. The moon now is a stepping stone on the way to Mars. And so all of this is about building space exploration. And it's important to point out, other countries are trying to do this too. China is trying to get to Mars. Uh, the, the United Arab Emirates are trying to get to Mars. India has a space program. So this isn't just uh, a matter of America and Canada just doing something on a whim. There is a space race happening. And so Canada is part of that. And uh, this is a, it's a race to get back to the moon and a race beyond. And with the minute we have remaining, why <laughs> is a Canadian involved in this mission? Uh, logistically, a Canadian's involved in this mission because we signed a treaty with America that we were going to provide some robotics for the Lunar Gateway mission, which is to put a space station around the moon and to have landers driving around the moon. We're going to build a Canadarm3. We're going to build a rover. There are a couple of things that, that we agreed to build. And so in exchange, we get a, a ticket on Artemis 2. But I think it's much bigger than that. It's not about that treaty. It's about this continued presence of Canada in the space program. And it's about the great relationship that the U.S. and Canada have 
And it's about hope. Uh, the, the, this this uh, press conference had a whole bunch of kids in the audience. Yeah. And I'll tell you, this gets my kids jazzed. It gets me jazzed. It's about the future. I'm with you. I got the goosebumps, too. It's just been great. Uh, Dan, thank you so much. Uh, again, if you're just joining us, breaking news, great news. Canadian Jeremy Hampson will be the first Canadian to orbit the moon. Dan is our CTV science and tech expert.